Imagine a mass attached to a spring positioned horizontally as shown in the picture below. So imagine it starts in its equilibrium position, which we'll call location A. And then I take that 17 kilogram mass and I pull on the spring a distance of 13 centimeters. So I stretch the spring out by 13 centimeters and then I'm going to release the mass. And you can imagine the mass is going to start to oscillate back and forth. So it's going to overshoot that equilibrium line, end up 13 centimeters on this side, assuming it's an ideal spring, and start to oscillate back and forth and back and forth. Now we want to know its maximum velocity, which occurs right in the middle, right when it's passing through the center. It doesn't matter which way it's going, maximum velocity be in the center because that's where it's unimpeded by the spring. Now, we can't use kinematics or dynamics for this particular question because the force changes. As you stretch the spring further and further and further, the force acting on the spring gets larger and larger, which means your acceleration will change. So kinematics and dynamics will not work for us. So we've got to use energy. When I pull it all the way back to its starting position, 13 centimeters from equilibrium, what I'm do doing is I'm loading it up with spring energy, potential energy in a spring. And that spring potential energy, when it's released and goes back through equilibrium, where the spring is now in its relaxed state momentarily, all gets converted to kinetic. So all we're doing is conservation of energy. So we're taking the spring's potential energy And that's all getting converted to kinetic if we're going into the center. Now the formula for kinetic energy is always one-half mv squared. And the formula for spring potential energy is one-half k times your change in length of the spring squared. Now because we're going right to the extreme edge, right, where that's where it's all potential. Anywhere in between, like if I was in here, it would have both potential and kinetic. So we just change delta x to the amplitude. It's the same thing. When we're at the maximum distance from the equilibrium, they just call delta x the amplitude. So that's the same thing as 1 half k times the amplitude squared. It's 1 half mv squared. So we're trying to find the maximum velocity. So notice the halves cancel. And I end up getting ka squared over m equals v squared. So my maximum velocity will be the square root of Ka squared all over M, which is the square root of 367 times, uh, now notice this is meters. So I've got to make sure that my amplitude is also in meters. So instead of writing 13 centimeters, I'm going to write it as 0.13 meters but I have to square that, all divided by my mass, which is 17 kilograms, and that whole thing gets square rooted to give me a maximum velocity of 0.60 meters per second when it passes through equilibrium.